Who doesn't like a flapjack? I think they're such a fantastic thing to make. They're super easy, you can make them really quickly if you need a sweet treat in a hurry. Hi, I'm Becca and I'm back on the Waitrose channel and today I'm going to be kicking flapjacks. These flapjacks are so easy and quick to make. If you want to try them out, the link is in the description below. So the great thing about these flapjacks is we've got minimal ingredients and also minimal equipment, so less washing up later on. So what we're going to do first is tip our sweet ingredients and the butter into a saucepan and start heating them through. So I'm going to put my brown sugar into the saucepan, our butter to the pan as well. This is cubed up so it's nice and easy to melt. Uh, it's unsalted butter and it's been out of the fridge for a little bit just so it's not super cold. Then on top of those ingredients, we're going to add in our golden syrup. So this is going to make the flapjacks really nice and sticky and chewy. I'm also going to add a pinch of salt into the pan as well. As I mentioned, I'm using unsalted butter, so it's okay for me to add in a bit of salt. This is going to bring out all the tasty flavors in the flapjack. If you are using salted butter, that's absolutely fine. You can omit the salt at this stage, no problem. So once you've got all your ingredients in the pan, you're going to wait for those to melt. So we're going to wait for the butter to melt down and the sugar to dissolve, and then we're going to add in our oats. So we're using light brown sugar today, which gives the flapjacks a really nice sort of caramel flavor. I really think that flapjacks should be something you make whether you've got exactly the right ingredients or not, you can always substitute them out for something else. The brown sugar is gonna add more caramel flavors, but white sugar is absolutely fine too. Okay, so it doesn't take very long for your ingredients to all melt down together in the pan. You're literally just looking for the butter to be completely melted and the sugar to be dissolved. So it should be a really nice sort of glossy, buttery sugar mix now. Perfect for flapjacks. Okay, so we're ready to add our oats into the pan now with all our sugar and butter ingredients. Today we're using the Waitrose Essentials oats. Any kind of oats are absolutely fine. If you've got some hanging around in the back of your cupboard, you can definitely, definitely use them. So add your oats into the pan. If you wanted to make this recipe gluten-free, you absolutely could. Just use some gluten-free oats. So we're just going to get all our oats completely combined with the sugar and butter mix in the pan. Just make sure they're all completely coated. I always think at this stage it looks like loads of oats and not enough sugar and butter, but it always comes together. I actually really like to have a little taste of it at this stage because it's nice and warm and I don't know, it's just something about that reminds me of making flapjacks when I was younger. Mm. These taste great. Sugary, buttery and all the, the really nice sort of chewy oats. They are going to be fantastic flapjacks. So these are ready to go into the tin now. I've lined my flapjack tin with greaseproof paper. It's important to make sure your tin is lined up the sides as well because the flapjacks will expand in the oven and then shrink back down again when they're cooling and they can stick to the side of the tin if you haven't got it properly lined. So I'm gonna just tip it all in there and then smooth it out with a spoon afterwards. I find this easiest to do with a nice metal spoon. It doesn't stick to the flapjack mixture and you just wanna spread it out so it's nice and flat. If I was going all out with my flapjacks, I would definitely add in some chocolate chips. I might even put chocolate chips in the middle and then maybe some chocolate melted on top as well. I quite like it when the flapjacks are like half dipped in chocolate, really nice. You could absolutely put anything you've got in here. You've got some dried fruits, you could throw those in. You could add in some peanut butter, maybe even some marshmallows if you wanted a bit of extra sugar. Great, my flapjacks are ready to go into the oven now. So I'm gonna put them into the oven at 150 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes. I like mine nice and chewy in the middle. So I'm gonna go for 25 minutes, but if you want them just a little bit crispier, you can go for 30 minutes. So my flapjacks have had 25 minutes in the oven now and they're looking great. I'm gonna leave them to cool in the tin for about 10 to 15 minutes, just so they're cool enough to cut. So I'm just gonna lift the grease proof out of the tin onto the chopping board and peel it all away. And then I'm gonna chop these up into about 12 pieces. You can cut them bigger or smaller if you like, but I reckon 12 is good. So as the knife is going through the flapjacks, making a really nice sort of crispy sound on top, and then it's really nice and soft underneath, which I can feel and just know that these are gonna taste great. So I'm pretty happy with my flapjacks. They smell amazing and they look delicious. So I think I'm gonna try one. They're still a little bit warm, which is perfect. That is a fantastic flapjack. 
and so nice and soft. It's really taken me back to eating flapjacks at school when I was a kid. You can store your flapjacks in an airtight container. They'll keep for about three to five days, but I've never actually kept them for that long because I always just eat them. They're so good. So there it is, my easy flapjack recipe. I hope you enjoy them as much as I do. Let us know in the comments what you like to add to your flapjack recipes and hit the bell for notifications on when new recipe videos come out.